Okay, so I just want to start things off by saying um, thanks for all the support I've been getting on the release of the Cyberface Mixer. Um, you guys really came through and uh, made this pretty beneficial for me to uh, to develop, so I appreciate that. And uh, Beta V2 is now out, and we're going to go over um, the installation process for new customers. Um, and then for you returning guys who've already purchased it and you're downloading the update, I'm going to go through the process that you need to follow um, for to, for the best experience. So um, we're going to get started here first by um, doing the install part of this. So um, you brand new customers, you'll have, you should have three um, downloads when you first uh, start. You're going to need a link to this video that you're watching right now. Um, and then you will have... Um, two 7-zip files um, that will need to be downloaded. One will be directly from my site. The other one you'll have to go to a Mediafire download. Um, so the one you'll get from my site is the 2K23 Cyberface Mixer Beta V2. Um, it'll be in the 7-zip file. Um, here are all the program files. So all you need to do is just drag this 2K23 Cyberface Mixer um, just anywhere that you want to store it on your PC. Um, make sure it's not a cloud drive. If it's in a cloud drive, it's not going to run. We've had people um, have experiences with that. So just make sure it's on a local drive. Then for your Cyberface files, um, this is going to be a hefty chunk of space here until the next update, which will cut down on file sizes tremendously. Um, again, I apologize that it's this way, but right now um, there's no other way for me to do it um, until I get the next update out, which I will be solving some problems there. So um, the Cyberface files right here, just go ahead and um, drag them wherever you have the space for it. It's going to be about 57 gigs um, decompressed here. Um, I just put mine straight into my 2K23 um, directory. So you see I have the folder here called All Cyberfaces. That is it. Just drag and drop it here and it'll have the files that the mixer needs to run its operations in there. So after you've done that, we need to go to where your mixer is installed. So it should look something like this, right? And um, for new customers, you want to go to your config.json. And here you want to update these paths. So we have game path, and then here is the path to my 2K23 install directory. Mods path, it's my 2K23 install directory, and then backslash mods. My Cyberfaces path, um, this is going to be the path to the all Cyberfaces folder that you've extracted. Mine is in my 2K23 directory. Um, so you'll take it to the all Cyberfaces folder right here. And then your random ID start, this is where you're going to, um, if you were to use the random uh, uh, Cyberface generation function, this is where the, um, the IDs are going to start. So make sure you're not overriding anything there. Maybe start at 10,000 is usually where I start. Um, so this, after you've done that and you've put your paths in here, um, you would do it something like this. So I would get my all or my uh, game path. I would copy this, and then I would replace my game path like that. And now I need my mods path. My mods path is just going to be the same path slash mods. Um, so I can do that. And then Cyberfaces path, again, we'll put, take it to the all Cyberfaces folder. So you go right there, copy it, and you'll replace it with yours. And I'm going to go ahead and keep my random ID start there because that's where mine's at. Now, after you've done this, you want to control H to do a find and replace. And you want to find this uh, forward slanting um, backslash and replace it with this backwards facing um, the forward slash or the backslash. I actually don't know which one of these is which, but I think that's how it is. So just do that and um, go ahead and replace all. And bam. Um, you can now control S to save the file and back out of there. And um, the mixer is now ready to use. For returning customers downloading the update, um, what I recommend you do is just take your config.json from your original, your previous install of the mixer and just uh, overwrite this newly downloaded config.json with your old one and uh, everything should work just the same. 
Um, now that the install process is out of the way, we can move on to showing off some of the new features here and actually using this bad boy. So let's pull up our mixer here. And we're just going to go ahead and mix a new face for Tyrese Halliburton. We're going to do a random mix real quick. Um, you can see there's a lot of buttons, new buttons here. You now can randomize individual aspects of the face. So let's just start initially with a random mix. Um, just do that. As always, um, it copies the, if you're doing a random mix, it's going to copy the new output ID to your uh, clipboard. And you can just go into 2K Tools and just hit Paste from Clipboard. And the new ID field uh, will populate in the face ID field, um, so you don't have to manually enter it every time. And then, of course, you go in game, tab away, tab back to refresh, bam, there's your new face. Now, say I didn't like the results I got here. Maybe I wanted him to have hair, right? What I can do now is hit random hair only, and then hit mix again. And if we go tab away, tab back, see he now has a random hair. And we could just do this over and over again over the same ID, just hitting the mix button um, until we get uh, a result we like. Now, you can do this same thing. Say you don't like anything about this face or it's a glitch. It, there's some glitches going on with it or something. We can keep the same ID so we don't have to go back and paste it into 2K Tools again. We can just keep the same ID and just hit um, same ID here by random mix. And it looks like that one might have had some problems. So let's run another one here. All right, so we can just hit random ID. Um, same I, the same ID field and then bam we get a new face this guy is absolutely horrific but um, yeah you can just easily uh, get by doing it that way now say we wanted to um, manually mix um, a new face now I recommend you guys download the cyber face screenshots um, folder that TG so good has uploaded um, it has a screenshot of literally every single cyber face in the game and you can use this to narrow down your search for what models you want to mix together. Um, so the model field, you'll just fill with the ID, straight up just the ID. So say if I wanted to use Sam Merrill, I would go 9855. And this, the face field works in somewhat of the same way. Um, players this year now have a face config file. so. Um, if you wanted a special version of that player's face texture, you would need to put the ID, and then you would also need to include the extra text. It would be um, underscore face um, underscore config. And then if, if somebody had braids and that was their file name, you would uh, do underscore braids. Now I can show you guys how to easily find this by going in game here. And say I wanted to take Joel Embiid's face texture, right? If I just go to edit player on him, and on the hook I hit F8, <clears throat> and go to file manager, make sure the file loading log is on, by the way. But if I go to the file manager, and then type in face, the most recent face it will have loaded will have been Joel Embiid's face. And you can see right here, he doesn't have a face config, it's just face 4090. So I can go here and just type in 4090. So here's a player, for example, that has a face config file in Drew Holiday. Um, he has two different face textures for his couple different hairstyles here. And um, you can see here he has a face config braided dreads headband. So if we wanted to use that texture, we would type in 1607 underscore config underscore braided underscore dreads underscore headband. And that is what you would type in the mixer here. So we'll do it right now. 1607 underscore config underscore braided underscore dreads underscore headband now we will be able to use his um, face config here and then hair is going to work the exact same way so if you're trying to use his hair that has uh, braids his braid hair um, right here we will do 1607 underscore hair underscore braided underscore dreads now that will give us his um, his braided face texture and his braided hair and then 
we can the facial hair will work the same way most of the time the facial hair um is going to just be facial hair o one but sometimes it will be face underscore facial hair beard underscore facial hair goatee um s there are a few exceptions to that rule it's the same concept um we'll just leave it here for now and then tattoos um probably need to look for somebody in the game who has tattoos you want before you do this um and then we can go ahead and let's just go ahead and mix this together here all right so you can see here we got the new mix there looks like some shader issues on him um, not sure where that one came in the mix might have been unsuccessful um, we'll do a random model again and see if we can maybe get a better output this time but essentially that's how the hair is going to work so we could you know again change individual aspects of the face and mix it again and there we are with a new mix So yeah, guys, that is uh, where we're going to leave this off here. Uh, if you have any further questions, need any further assistance, just contact me. Um, you guys can follow me on Twitter, um, my Facebook group, Instagram. Um, I'm basically just uh, Samuel with a, you know, my funky little spelling everywhere. So um, you guys know where to contact me. And uh, yeah, thanks for the support, guys. Appreciate it.